Happy Sunday and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Really quick, before we start rating teams, you guys have been asking a lot for the Wednesday episodes to return. If you didn't know last year, we used to do a Wednesday and a Sunday episode. Now, here's what we're going to do. It's a little deal. I think that's mutually beneficial, I hope. Um, if we can hit 2,500 likes on an episode of I Rate Your Teams on a Sunday, by the Wednesday, I'll upload a Wednesday episode as well, if that makes sense. So every time we hit 2,500 likes on the Sunday episode, it will trigger an upload for a Wednesday episode. I think that's mutually beneficial. You get an extra episode. And of course, likes and comments do help the uh, videos grow and the channel grow. So uh, it helps me out and you guys get extra content. Hopefully a win-win. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're going to start off with Clerco's team. He says, can you rate my team? Richarlison, Sanchez, Tellers, and Party untradeable. I have 200,000 coins for upgrades. Any suggestions? Love the vids, mate. Let's check it out. Now, I feel like after the market crash, 200,000 coins is a lot of coins now. It, it didn't used to be. It used to be like 200k would get you like a Joe Gomez, a Richarlison, a Fred, and that's it. Like, But now... I, Richards is like 4,000 coins. Sissoko is about 30k. Fred's like 20k. I think Joe Gomez is about 100k. Um, but regardless, uh, players are so cheap now. So with 200,000 coins, looking at this, I think that you need a better cam because you don't have a cam right now. You've got four defensive midfielders and a full back line. Doesn't really work in my opinion. I would say get rid of Partey and put Fred at your left centre mid. I would say... Uh, keep Fabinho. Fabinho's a really solid CDM. He sweeps up really well. And then as a cam, um, I know obviously uh, parties and tradable, but I still think you should maybe relegate him to the bench. As a cam from the Premier League with 200,000 coins, I would like to actually investigate who the options are because I don't want to miss out anybody real quick. Um, Premier League, and then make sure what console you're on. You are on the PlayStation. That makes life easy for me. Um... We'll go 200,000 coins. That's 2 million, isn't it? No, that is 200,000 coins. Uh, this is Footbin, by the way. I highly recommend checking out Footbin. It's great. Uh, let's see. I, I've just looked at strikers and center forwards. I mean, Fabinho is actually... Uh, sorry, not Fabinho. Firmino is actually a really good shout. I would I would possibly look into Firmino. Um, let's have a look at, at cams, center mids, and CDMs. Bruno's not a bad shout. The normal Bruno card is a decent shout for sure. Um, Kai Havertz is a really good shout as well. A uh, really good option there, in my opinion, in Kai Havertz. Um, ZH is decent if you want five-star skiller. The only thing I feel with ZH is a little bit slow. But then again, so is Bruno. Like it's it, The difference being with Bruno's got way more physicality, whereas ZH really doesn't... like like. I feel like if you are a slower player, you need to make up with that with physicality or insane dribbling and balance. Bruno makes up with it with, with more strength and physicality, whereas the X doesn't. But he's got the five-star skills. Um, regardless, I would say upgrade your cam to either Bruno, Havertz, or ZH. I think the obvious pick here is Havertz. Uh, five-star weak foot. Oh, no, he's got a four-star weak foot this year. Anyway, four-star, four-star. 84 pace, 85 dribbling, 81 shooting. Really, really nice card. I think this is the obvious option to go for. Get an engine or a finisher on him. Um, and I think you'll have a really, really good... Uh, cam. So an engine gives him 88 agility and 79 balance. Uh, sorry, a finisher gives him that. And then an engine gives him 83 agility and 84 balance. I think that's probably the best shout. Um, get an engine on this card. He'll be absolutely phenomenal in my opinion as a cam for your team. Uh, the next one is going to be from Ghost Plays. Uh, hi, it's Haber. Uh, Courtois, Coutinho, Ndidi and Lucas are tradable. The rest are untradable. I've got 186,000 coins. I'll get foot jumps and div rye rewards on Thursday as well. So I'll have about 250,000 coins by then. Any, any, sorry, any improvements? Keep it up. Uh, I forgot to say Bruno is tradable as well let's have a look okay uh first things first you need 110 percent to get yourself furlan mendy into this team now the other thing i would say i love alex tellers i actually love him in real life i think he's fantastic uh unfortunately alex tellers just isn't as good as furlan mendy so get furlan mendy at left back i would then say uh what the other thing you can do with this team is probably get wan Bissaka in it right back. Trent's got great passing, but wan Bissaka is a better overall right back. To be honest, I think Nelson Semedo is the best right back in, in the Premier League. And you could bin off Courtois and get yourself Edison and then get Nelson Semedo at right back if he really wanted to. I would also say 
I, I do rate Fabinho highly in a set like a central CDM position. In a pivot CDM, I don't think he's amazing, and I like uh, Sizoko better as a pivot CDM in this game uh, as opposed to a sole CDM. So. In a 4 and 2 and 2 narrow, for example, you want a more physical CDM, in my opinion. So one that's got longer legs that can cut out passes really well. In a pivot CDM, which is a 2 CDM, I would say you want someone a bit more physical, and then you want someone a bit quicker. And I think that Sizoko is a bit quicker. He's also physical as well, but he's a bit quicker than Fabinho. And I think you want someone that's a bit quicker in a 2 CDM formation because they need to be out wide as well. Just my personal opinion and personal preference. Um, but I like the rest of this team. I think this team is looking really nice. I, like I said, Sizoko over Fabinho, uh, Nelson Semedo over Alexander-Arnold, Edison over Courtois, and Ferlamendi over... Uh, Alex Tellers, and you've got a winner of a team. And by the way, I thought I'd let you know, I started 9-1 and one of the weekend league this weekend. I thought that was pretty good. Yes, I have an amazing team, all right? You don't need to, you don't need to remind me. But I, I still am pretty proud of myself for starting 9-1. and one. Uh, It's a really good start for me. Matthews' team now. I've got 100,000 coins. Walker, De Jong, Fatty, and my bench are untradeable. And I'm currently 9-1 and one in chance. Let's go, Matthews, bro. Same as me, mate, or Matthias. Um, all right, you've got 100,000 coins. You're playing a 4-4-2 in game with De Jong and Allen as centre mids. Really good centre mid partnership. Mane's incredible as a striker. And so Fatty is a striker. It's probably not, not terrible, to be fair. I'm just thinking that you could probably go with a better striker here, to be honest. Um... Who can you go with here that would work really, really well as a striker, in my opinion? Gabriel Jesus, maybe? I'm just looking at finishing more than anything. Don't get me wrong, Sterling's great, but I would play anti Fatty as a left mid and maybe go with... Yeah, maybe go with Gabriel Jesus as your centre mid here uh, instead of Sterling and playing him at left striker. Just a bit more finishing, a little bit better, in my opinion, um, than having the Sterling anti Fatty because uh, you're also playing Sterling off game. I mean, we can have a look real quick. I, I guarantee I probably look stupid here. And I guarantee like Gabriel Jesus has less finishing than Ansu Fati, doesn't he? 85 finishing for Gabriel Jesus and Ansu Fati has got 88. I knew it. I knew it. But in my opinion, strikers play better at striker than wingers in occasion. I think the difference being players that are at the top tier, you know, the Neymars, the Messis, etc. Um... Personal preference, though, at the end of the day. Personal preference, 100%. Uh, the rest of this team, though, is quality. It is a quality, quality team, to be fair. Um, I'm just thinking there's no real way to get everyone on chemistry here that, that you want. So there's no point even trying. Uh, but yeah, the rest of this team is absolutely quality. No doubt about it. It's a really, really nice team. Next team is going to be Lindley's team. Let's go, Lindley. Lindley is a supporter on Twitch. I do excuse me, recognize Lindley from the Twitch channel. Um, got 60,000 coins spare. I've been waiting for today to get your opinion because I'm not too sure who to get. Love the vids and the streams. Keep it up. Also, congrats on the weight loss, King. Thank you very much, Lindley. Appreciate it. I don't know why Twitter does this to photos. Luckily, this is actually seeable. At least it's not one of the really small photos. Um... This one seems pretty easy to me. Uh, straight away, I would say, uh, get replace Davinson Sanchez with an Eder Militao. I know that te technically is a downgrade, but Eder Militao is broken on this game. He's absolutely broken. Then at right back, I mean, you can just keep uh, Cancelo off chem or get yourself Nelson Semedo off chem. Uh, both are great options, in my opinion. Um, I don't think you really need 10 chemistry on a right back or left back. It's not quintessential to your team. You could even, to be honest, swap Carlos and... Um, swap Carlos and Ed Militao and get yourself uh, Furla Mendy left back when you've got the coins as well. That could work really well. Um, in terms of your attack, great left mid, great right mid. Uh, good cam, uh, two good strikers here. I'm guessing you're playing a 4-4-2. Uh, if you are, it's a little bit offensive. Um, you could do with maybe like someone a little bit more defensive over Havertz, but if you're playing, if like if you're literally playing this in game, then it works, I guess. But apart from that, yes, yeah, it's, it's a really, really solid squad, literally. Uh, Smarties team now, second pick in game, 100k to improve, Gomez, Mendy, and say Maximin are tradable, thank you, ain't no worries bro, let's check it out, ooh, Naki Williams, yeah, I forgot to mention, obviously we do have the brand new promo, um, the Rule Breakers promo with, for example, Rule Breakers Harry Kane, what a redonkulous card this is, let's have a look at the Rule Breakers cards, oh, Okay, footman. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Uh, let's have a look. Um, cards that I think are definite, like, players to look out for here in this new Rule Breakers promo. Uh, and cards that I think could be absolutely incredible. 
are the new rule breakers. Lorente looks insane as a CDM now, looks absolutely incredible. Nyingulan looks really, really good as like a, a box to box in a 4 4 2 or in a 4 2 4 on 2 on 2. Uh, Costa looks insane as like a really good winger now with incredible shooting. Mertens looks incredible as a striker or cam. Uh, Harry Kane looks unbelievable as a striker. Um, I think EA have smashed it. EA have made a lot of players. Like, I'm not saying that all these players were unusable. Uh, but a lot of these players, like, for example, Laporte, um, like, for example, uh, who's a good example? Maybe, like, Andre, Dumfries. Uh, a lot of these players, like, wouldn't get used as much and weren't going to be utilized ridiculously uh, a lot throughout the entire game. Uh, and now these cards are going to get used quite a lot, which I think is really cool. Like, I prefer them going down the route of not just giving random players boosts or giving players, like, like actually thinking about it, be like, okay, people aren't going to use Harry Kane this year until he gets his 44th inform. Let's give him a card that is usable for the whole year because people using Harry, it just makes it fun to use, I guess. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's actually get into um, Smarty's team. Now, I think goalkeeper chemistry is a bit more important this year than last year. Goalies, in my opinion, don't save as much as they used to last year. So I would say get yourself either Edison or Courtois personal preference i would probably go with edison because then it allows you to get yourself nelson tomato right back nelson tomato is going to be the new further mendy from last year but nelson tomato is my best is my favorite right back the best one of you so far um everything else about this team is perfect though wynaldum's a phenomenal top tier center mid sizoko is a top tier center mid uh you got a really good strike partnership here i would play anaki on the right and dembele on the left due to anaki's two-star weak foot Cross-body shots are just impossible, in my opinion, uh, with a two-star weak foot, whereas you've got a five-star weak foot and Dembele. So I would swap those two around. Um, everything else, though, is really, really good. The rest of this team is absolutely fantastic, mate. You uh, you really do know the good players to use on this game 100%. We've got Nathaniel's team now. Mbappe and uh, wants to watch and bench are untradeable. I'm not sure where to go from here. Keep up the good work, man. I appreciate the support. You've got an untradeable Mbappe. I'm a little bit jealous. I'm not going to lie. Um... Yeah, here's the thing with this team, bro. You haven't got this right at all, unfortunately. So, you're going to need to strip this team to the bare bones. Keep Mbappe. Keep... <sighs> just just keep Mbappe, mate, and strip the rest of this team. Aguero, like... Aguero, in my opinion, has got a great shot, but is not quick enough or, or has any physicality this year. So it lets him down massively, especially the two striker. You want to ping the balls off each other and do darting runs in behind. Aguero is not going to be able to provide that, whereas Mbappe obviously can. Uh, Di Maria is not bad. Actually, to be fair, is a wide cam. So maybe hold on to Di Maria. Jota as well is probably a really good right, uh, wide cam. Henderson and Thiago Alcantara, just in my opinion, are a no-go. Henderson's not garbage. Thiago is not a CDM, though, and unfortunately lacks pace, physicality, and defending stats to make him a good CDM, so I would get rid of him. Henderson, as well, isn't really a meta CDM, so I'd probably bin, bin him off as well. I would say go for Fabinho as your central CDM here, uh, and then go for probably Sissoko or... Uh, Ndidi or Fred or anyone you want to go for is your other CDM. I would say Robbo for the coins, probably not worth it. You can get a better left back from the Prem, 100%. Go with someone faster. Um, Region is a really good left back for the price. Uh, left centre back, bin off Matip. If you've got coins, Joe Gomez. If you haven't got coins, uh, or haven't got as many coins, Davidson Sanchez. And if you have like no coins, go with the likes of Eric Bai or someone like that. Just go with someone with a bit more pace and physicality. Tiago Silva works as a CDM, to, uh, sorry, at centre back to be fair. Um, like people sleep on this card. He's actually not bad at all to be fair. And I think that uh, with a pacey centre back next to him, he'll work pretty well to be fair as well. Um, and, and Dave in goal is really good. So yeah, I would say you've got a lot to change, but... Once you have changed it, you'll notice significant differences 100%. We've got Dom's team next. He says, only tradable player is Mbappe, and I've got 150k. So you've got, oh my god, you've got quite a lot of really good untradables here, to be fair, Dom. Um, I like what you've done here. Sorry, I've just clicked off your team by accident. I like what you've done here with the links to Koscielny and Mbappe. That's a really cool link. That's a really cool link. You're playing in-game. Wow, this is a really offensive team. And I respect it, but I also think it's kind of absolutely crazy at the same time. So, if you play ridiculously offensive football in FIFA, don't listen to my advice at all. If you're struggling with this team, 
I can help you out because I'm using a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow myself now. I think you need a very more balanced midfield and have one more pretty defensive midfielder and then one more box to box. So my recommendations here would be probably over on this right CDM spot. Uh, I would say put Kante central. Uh, chemistry is going to be difficult with this one. I'm not going to lie. I don't think you get chemistry here with a lot of your players. I would say... Put Kante, Kante Central and get yourself... To, I know I keep recommending Sissoko to everyone, but get Sissoko as your right CDM. I would then say, over at the right wing spot, probably keeping Lucas. Lucas will be on chemistry. Um, who are you playing striker here? Are you playing Mbappe and Aki Williams and Ansu Fati as your cam? Huh. Maybe getting rid of Inaki Williams and bringing in De Jong. I know you haven't got a ton of coins here, but I think you can afford De Jong and Sissoko for this team uh, over uh, Dembele and Inaki Williams. And then you've got Dembele and Inaki as super subs. Now, don't get me wrong. Dembele is incredible in this game. But as a centre mid, he's definitely you're definitely not utilising him to the point where I think you can. Now, obviously, if you are very good at the game and you're successful with this team, ignore everything I just said. But that's probably what I'd do with this team. Uh, anyway, the last two for the episode are going to be Wilco and Endom Badmans. Uh, so we're going to start off with Wilco's. Uh, I've got Longley and Renato Sanchez for Kunde and Dembele. Uh, I've got 150,000 coins to uh, spend. Could grind for more. Untradables are Lucas, Niane, Wambasaka, Bamba. The bench is untradable. A Sterling is alone. Keep the good content. Thank you very much, bro. So you... Hang on. You've got... Longley and Renato Sanchez for Kunde and Dembele. So Longley and Renato Sanchez for. Okay. Interesting. Um. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm a little bit confused here. Can you do me a favor, Wilco? Please, please, please take an updated screenshot for the next episode because I'm very confused here. I'm very, very confused here, and I don't understand what you've done here. Uh, what you mean? I would also say, straight away, real quick, because I totally forgot. I totally forgot that's the wrong card. Uh, where is he? Please go and do this card. It's it's pretty easy, in my opinion. Please go and do it. He'll be one of the best right backs in the whole game. Please go and do Mukiele. It's an objective right now. It's all life up friendlies. It's not difficult. It will take time, but it's not difficult. Please go and do that objective. And we are ending it off now with... Uh, end on Badman's team. 50k budget, no untradables. 4231 with Zakari CB and Alaba CDM. Who can I improve? Thanks, mate. Okay. Um, who can you improve? That is a really good question. You can probably improve Renan Lodi and Zhao Felix to probably be Alfonso Davies at left back. And I'm trying to think who you can use here at left center mid that's playing as i'm guessing your cam in game huh who would i say to use you can play jao felix off cam that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world you could also potentially play sabitza as a cam um you could also potentially play in from danny olmo though i wouldn't recommend it uh you could also potentially play like nabil fakir off cam um there's a few different options to go down there to be honest um and then i would say go and do mukiele and play mukiele center back over klosterman off, off chemistry that's not even a joke i'd do it i think they'd be incredible at center back um but that's it for this episode if you guys have enjoyed please have like down below subscribe if you guys are new around here thank you for watching and supporting the channel i really do appreciate it and i'll see you lads later